Right, we're going to talk about multiplying large numbers, method 2, and plus we're going to review the basics. So I want to add 259 plus 687. 9 plus 7 is 16. I'll carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 8 is 14. Carry the 1 again. That's 9. This one we want to subtract. 146 from 295. We're gonna take 6 from 5, so we'll borrow 8 there. That's 15, so now that's 9, that's 4, and that's 1. And there's the answer. And we can write them in words and numbers by changing them around. You just write them in words as you would see them, right? <coughs> so 20. So we want to do 23 times 45, right, we'll just do 23 times 5 first, 3 times 5 is 15, carry the 1, 2 times 5 is 10, plus the 1 is 11, and we're carrying 1 because it went up to 10, so that's 115. Now 23 times 4 is 92. Then we want to multiply by 10, so that's 920. And to work out what that is, all we do is add these up. 115 plus 920 is 5, 3, nothing, 1. 1,035. Right. <coughs> Next one I want to do this one, so I'm going to do 123 times 3 plus 123 times 30 plus 123 times 200. Now this is easy, we just multiply each number by 3, 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 times 3 is 3. Right, and this one's the same, but it's 30, so all we'll do is add nothing. So that's 3,690. Here we can multiply each number by 2. We've got 6, 4, 2. We need to add 2 nothing, so we've got 24,600. And then we want to add all these numbers up. Here yeah, to find out. So I've got 24,600 plus 3,690 plus 369. Add these up, I get 9. I get 5. I carry the 1. That's 6 and 6 is 12. Plus 3 is 15, plus the 1 is 16. And I carry the 1 from there because I went over 10, so that's an 8, and that's a 2. So the answer to this problem runs 28,659. Okay. So if we want to multiply two large numbers, <coughs> all we do is we multiply the number on the top by first however many hundreds there is, by however many tens there is, and by however many units there is. So for example here because we've got 123 times 233, we'll first times it all by 3, then we'll times it all by 30, and then we'll times it all by 200, and then we'll add all those results up, and we'll get the final answer. Okay?